These glass beads are falling towards an unusual filter. The filter is made of a liquid film rather than a typical solid and porous material. It lets large beads burst through, but rebuff smaller ones. So the liquid membrane acts in the opposite way that conventional filters like sieves do. Sieves normally catch large things and let small stuff slip through. As a result, the new liquid filter could have some pretty interesting applications. Researchers at Penn State University found inspiration for the filter in video footage showing a protozoan eating another cell. In fact, their inspiration was this particular video of the meal. The protozoan opened its cell membrane just enough to engulf its food, then sealed itself back up, keeping smaller components from slipping in or out. Cell membranes are mostly made of water and a bilayer of surfactants, which also describe soap bubbles and films. So the researchers made simple soap films from water and the surfactant sodium dodecyl sulfate. However, these stayed intact for only about a minute. So the team added chemicals like polyethylene oxide, glycerol, and tannic acid that absorb water from the air and help the film survive longer. With our optimized five chemical component uh, liquid membrane, it can last on the order of hours. A continuously hydrated membrane could stand up to 3,000 pokes from a glass rod over three hours. So how do these films work like filters in reverse? What we found to be the dominant effect was simply um, the kinetic energy and the surface tension. What that means is more massive objects, or ones that are moving fast, can generally break the self-healing film while lighter objects can't. Stogan and her colleagues made films in different shapes and sizes, which can separate particles for a number of applications. For instance, the membranes could repel disease-carrying pests like mosquitoes, or trap annoying fruit flies. The film might also one day act as a surgical shield, letting instruments slide through while protecting the open site from dust and debris. A future membrane of this type may even help create odorless toilets that let solids pass through and then prevent their unpleasant odors from rising back up, simulated here by fog. Utah State University's Tad Truscott, who wasn't involved in the work, told us he'd like to know more about the film's size limitations, but adds that the study shows soap films may be more useful than previously thought. <laughs>